Hey everybody, Cody Nelson here with Cover Crop Kings. Uh, just out here checking out a field down in Trent, South Dakota. Uh, this is a field that we put together, a uh, cover crop mix. We wanted to try planting soybeans with our cover crops at the same time. So I'm gonna come down here. So what we've got here is we've actually got a mix of sunflowers, buckwheat, winter cereal rye, and soybeans. Um, all this was planted at the same time. Well, actually the, the soybeans were planted on 15 inch rows and then we came back and, and a week later uh, seeded uh, with a, a mix all together, the winter cereal rye and the buckwheat and the sunflowers. So uh, the sunflowers were less than 1% of the mix. There's not very many of them. Uh, the, the buckwheat was just a few pounds per acre. And then we were uh, right about, I think it was right about 50 pounds of winter cereal rye. So if you look down, uh, there's there's not been a herbicide used. Uh, we've got a lot of weed suppression here. There really hasn't, I have not seen hardly any weeds as I've walked through this field. Uh, so there has not been a post emerge on here. We do have a little bit of corn. If we wanted to call it a weed, that would be our weed. So uh, some of the questions we've gotten, we just had a field day out here and 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 what, what were we trying to accomplish in this field? And, one thing we were trying to do is we were trying to bring in some beneficial insects. So our thoughts were, can we, can we bring in enough beneficial insects, some predatory insects, so we maybe don't need uh, to worry about soybean aphids. As, as we've looked through the field, we have not seen any aphids. We have not heard of any around yet either. So uh, you gotta look at that as well. But uh, we, we, see, we, we see a lot of, uh, a lot of beneficial insects here. Uh, we're seeing a lot of pollinators so so that's kind of what the goal is same thing with the with the sunflowers the sunflowers got a very deep taproot so we're looking at, at going down deep and bringing up some nutrients but also uh, just bringing in a whole nother round of of uh, beneficials here later in the season so that's kind of the main thing here we're anxious to see how the yield is this was this field was planted in in uh, mid-june uh, they were super super wet here as as most everybody was uh, but it, it seems to be working out very well so we're anxious to see what the yields are we'll bring bring you yield updates here this fall uh, but but so far so good um, if you got any questions leave them in the comments we'd like to sure like to help you out and see how you can bring some of these new soil health principles on your farm so if you got any questions uh, you can sure look up our website it is soil www.soilrx.net um, you can email us at soilrx1 at gmail.com but make sure uh, to like the video hit the subscribe button uh, if you haven't already done so and we'll keep bringing you keep bringing you some videos uh, one other thing i wanted to touch on clear on the back side of the field probably the back half we've noticed that the sunflowers are gone it's not that they weren't in the mix they were all there uh, about a week ago but the deer have actually came in and the deer are eating on the sunflowers uh, they're also nibbling on some of the buckwheat so interesting they're keeping keeping the deer off of the soybeans uh, but we're we're just getting more beneficials from some of these cover crops so uh, trying to increase water infiltration the plan for next year is to uh, actually come back and we're gonna we're gonna watch this winter rye crop uh, if we can we might potentially let that winter cereal rye come back and harvest it next spring we're not sure if we have high enough yields we will expect it to stool out tremendously here as we get into late summer and, and early fall uh, there's been lots of questions of whether or not it'll overwinter because it was planted so early I can tell you from experience, we've not had an issue with that yet, but that's also with limited experience. So we know that the winter cereal rye will not grow uh, tall until it, until it goes through a vernalization period. So it needs to uh, go through a frost cycle. Uh, and then after that, after it vernalizes, then it'll elongate. So uh, we should be good there, uh, but we've got several options. We could come back and plant corn. Uh, into this uh, or we could watch that rye if the rye looks thin after the bean harvest we could potentially spike in some more rye so anyways that's where we're at here um, but thanks for joining us once again hit the subscribe button and we'll uh, keep bringing you some more videos thanks a lot have a great day